So, <clears throat> today's battle was also suggested by my brother. So, yeah, just please don't get mad if I don't do your suggestion. Just watch the last video for the full apology. Yeah. Okay. So, today's battle is between Toxic Springtrap and Salazzle. Yeah, FNAF AR versus Pokemon. But first, let me... Okay. Yeah, okay. So, he's basically just a regular Springtrap, basically. Okay, so yeah, spring trap smells so bad you just die. Yeah, that's basically it. Uh, he's that toxic, holy shit. But, Salazzle is also a poison type Pokemon. Salazzle is a poison fire type Pokemon. He's three foot eleven and weighs like forty eight pounds. Holy shit, <laughs> dude! How's she going? Yes, and Salazzle is actually a, a fully female Pokemon. Yeah, basically. Okay, well, let's just just say okay. If you don't know Pokemon, then let me explain this to you. So Salazzle is the only female Pokemon, okay? And then there's these this it's like previous evolution named Salandit. Salandit are simps, okay? And they give all their food to their queen, which is the Salazzle. And they don't have enough food for themselves, so they they're they're so they can't evolve into a male Salazzle. I don't know what a male Salazzle would look like, but okay. But I expect it'll, it'll, there'll be something like sexual dimorphism, or the male will look different. But why am I even talking about, you know what, I'm just talking Pokemon lore, jeez, okay. <sighs> Toxic Springtrap, jeez. Toxic Springtrap is like 6 foot 9, and weighs like 450 pounds. No, actually, Toxic Springtrap weighs 560 pounds, actually. Sorry about that. Okay. I actually have a Salazzle Pokemon card. Just have to. Okay. Okay, I got out uh, the Pokemon Salazzle. And yes, I do own Bakugan and Bo Pokemon cards. God damn This is gonna take a while. Jesus Christ. Okay, goddamn! I finally found it. Jesus fuck. Okay, Salazzle. Salazzle has fire type and poison type moves. Okay, just let's just start off with that. Okay, let's just fight. Toxic Springtrap and Salazzle meet. Salazzle roars furiously. He wants the the giant fucking robot out of his territory, but he isn't listening. So Salazzle does his does her move flamethrower. And burns Springtrap, but the toxic ooze on him leaks out, and the smell gets so wretched that even the Salazzle herself doesn't doesn't like it. So Salazzle then used the move Diabolical Claws, where she slashes up Springtrap. <laughs> it hurts him, but it doesn't hurt her as well. Toxic Springtrap then grabs for the Salazzle's skinny chicken neck and throws him down, throws her down. Spring tra no, Spring Trap then stomps on the lizard's body and starts crushing her. Salazzle roars in pain, but then does the move Sludge Bomb, which shoots him in the face in, in Spring Trap's face, blinding him for a couple of seconds. Salazzle escapes and then uses the flamethrower move again at his face. And for some reason, 
The sludge bomb gets, like, you know, sparked by the flamethrower in the face and blows up. Spring trap, half of spring, toxic spring trap's face is like, is like burnt off. But he's still alive. Oh yeah, toxic spring trap's weapons, choke move, punch, toxic stench, bite. Yeah, okay. And then Salazzle uses the move heat, bla- heat blast, which burns off one. When she uses that move, it burns off one. It completely burns off one of Spring Trap's arms. Spring Trap then charges and knocks and punches and knocks out the lizard. Spring Trap then grabs the skinny chicken neck of Salazzle and bites down on her skull, completely breaking it. The lizard, <laughs> mic drop. Is dead. Springtrap then jump scares in victory before just walks off. Verdict. In a fight between Salazzle and Toxic Springtrap, Toxic Springtrap wins around like 86% of the time. Salazzle is a, is a, good, is a good Pokemon, but I don't think she has a good... But I don't think she's not strong enough to take down Toxic Springtrap. Toxic Springtrap is just a lot heavier, more robust, and stronger. And yeah, it's a lot more durability. But I do believe that that Salazzle could take down Toxic Springtrap in some cases. But in the end, Toxic Springtrap wins. But who do you think would have won this fight? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.